show you stuff that I don't wear all the time, but I do have a lot of. Just um, backup stuff that I have that I use whenever I do photo shoots and I do other people's makeup or if I'm doing like a particular look or if it's Halloween, whatever, I use this back backup makeup. Excuse my thumb, I heard it at work today. Okay, so um, this is one of my favorite palettes to use. Like I said, not a lot of the makeup that I have is named brand, so. But um, I like it a lot, it's super shiny. It's the Fearless Palette by City Color. I don't know if you guys can see it because my ring light is like bougie. But yeah, it's super, super sparkly. I used it on my friend Kirsten whenever I did a couple of her photo shoots and it looked really, really good. So this is what it looks like open. And I love the colors. They are so, so pretty and sparkly. So this is the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills palette. It's like a cream palette. Um, as you can see, it's been used a lot. I use it for contour. Yeah, that's the color I use the most. Let me turn this light down because it is too much. Too much. But yeah, this is the palette I use and I love it. To be honest, like half these palettes I'm going to show you haven't even been opened yet. A lot of the stuff I got for Christmas, but because of me moving and stuff in the beginning of the year, and now I'm moving back home, it's so unorganized and has not been opened. So, this next palette I'm going to take out of the box so that way we can see. This is the Pro Artist Lipstick Palette. Absolutely amazing main reason why I got this one, I didn't get this one for Christmas, I actually bought it myself. Um, I bought it because of the top two rows. I'm all about nudes, even though I'm wearing like super bright pink lipstick. It's the first thing I threw on before I did this video. But yeah, I haven't used any of this yet and it's, the colors look really awesome. I don't know if you guys can see those. Like this one's going to be pretty awesome. So there's that and that's lipstick. These I do use a lot and I'm like an organizational freak other than now because of the move. But like I keep everything in order. And these are my aphorism, I don't know how you pronounce it, aphorism, aphorism lipsticks. It came in a set of 10. So I keep them in their little plastic thing. And they come in so many colors and they are so, so pretty. The one that I wear the most is the one at the very top. And it's so, it goes with literally everything. These are the palettes that were, or like, they're like kits that were gifted to me for Christmas. And I wanna, I don't even know, they might even be Walmart, I'm not even sure. I don't even care, because they're really cute. Especially because there's like a lot of, there's like lashes, eye glitter, and everything. Walmart is stepping up their game for real. So this is the Color Workshop Hollywood Starlet Eyes. So as you can see, there's like tons of eyeliners. There's shadows, li um, liquid, what is that, liquid liner? Yeah, that is eyeliner, sparkly eyeliner. Um, eyeliner, lashes, and glitter. I love glitter. Glitter is my jam. So this hasn't even been opened, so might be using this in a future video. And then this is the Color Workshop Eye Obsession 60 piece eye collection set. It has nude shadows, smoky eyeshadows, eye pencils, primer, stuff for your eyebrows, legit awesome eyeliner. And uh, the eye pencils come in purple. That one looks really cool. There's that. All these different colors. So this palette is absolutely amazing. I love it. It's called Beauty Gems. And it looks like this. And it shows you a little preview of what it looks like on the inside. It's a super thick palette. It's got a little clip closed. And I like to keep everything organized. Yeah, it has a mirror. You can see everything. But um, I like to keep everything nice and together so I still keep the plastic film on it after I use it. 
So I take the film off every time I use it. And there's a little surprise inside. It actually slides open and it has lipsticks underneath. And I've used some of the lipsticks, mostly red, because of um, our team was red, black, and white, so I would always use red. Yeah, there's so many different shadows. These two rows are all lip lipstick as well as those. Um, so yeah, this palette was put to good use. And then we'll put that open. But this next set, um, I'm not really sure who it's by, so let me look and see. This is Pexin, or Pay, yeah, Pex, Payin, Pexin, lipstick cosmetics color and they're really cute they come in this like cheetah print and they have different colors and I like to keep stuff organized so I, I kept them in their original um, little case there's 24 of them are 23 I'm missing one I don't know where that one went but yeah there's so many colors they're so pretty so yeah, I use these a lot as well, especially when I have a special occasion and I wanna make sure my lips are on point. I used to help um, a good family friend of mine do hair and makeup for pageants and fashion shows for three summers whenever I was in high school. So I just started to accumulate like hair products, eyeshadows, any, time to make, any type of makeup that I could get my hands on. So that's where a lot of this comes from. I still use probably 40% of it, the other 60% I just hold on to for like special occasions, ha uh, Halloween and stuff like that. So this next palette is just a regular eyeshadow palette, I'm not sure what it's from. There's a total of 104 eyeshadows in this palette. As far as the shiny ones, the pigment doesn't really stick really well, it may look like it's shiny but it's not. There's probably maybe 20 shiny ones, but everything else, um, the color stays really, really well. I actually did a look with this color, this color, like you can still see it. Um, yeah, just those two and I mixed them and I tried to do shiny and it didn't come out as shiny. But yeah, these are so nice. Like those purples, those lavenders look so good. But yeah, I really like those a lot but yeah there's just I don't use a lot of them or most of them actually but they're really nice gives me something to work with until I can hit up Ulta and Sephora okay so these are my shiny erasers I try to keep these in my um, bag at all times they're like little tiny film like little they almost look like tissue paper and you just blot them on your face and it gets rid of all the shine so, which I have quite a bit because I just got off work. So there's that. I don't know what that was. Is everything okay? Okay, moving on. Anyways, if you live in Florida and you're like me and you're really pale, especially because half of my family is German and Irish, but my dad's Italian, Cherokee Indian, and Greek, I'm white half the year and super dark the other half the year. So I have my like brown girl makeup that I keep because I know I'm going to use it. Um, it's a lot of Revlon, like Revlon um, for my dark, darker um, foundations I like to use. Uh, I like the airbrush effect one the most, it's really nice and it stays on for 24 hours. Not that you would need makeup for 24 hours, but... Oh, I get these lashes at Claire's all the time. Like, whenever I go to Claire's, they always have these. I like using the Kiss, um, Kiss lashes from Walmart. And I've also looked into She's Blinking and Lily lashes on Instagram. You guys should totally check them out. Um, my favorite style for Lily lashes is Miami. This video is hashtag not sponsored, but that would be awesome if it was. Anyways, when I go to Claire's, I get the faux lashes, and they have glitter on them. Like, I wear these almost every Halloween. Like, I love them so much. They are amazing. So, apart from that, um, Christmas, I believe my mother-in-law got me these. I've used them a few times. 
This is called Get Contoured Face Sculpting Kit. Um, it's from Femme Couture, so it's pretty nice. Um, so there's highlight, brightening, light contour, and medium contour, and it comes with a cute little angled brush. But it's really, really, it has really good pigment, and all of them have a little shine to them. So it adds that extra shine to your look if you're into that. And then I also have the Femme Couture Get Strobed Face Illuminating Kit. Um, it has Luminizer 1, 2, Blush, and Highlight. And this one also comes with a cute little angle brush. And they are sparkly as well, especially those tan tones. I like that a lot. I think that's it for the back, back stock of my makeup. So now I'll move on to like daily makeup. Um, and kind of walk through how I do my makeup. I do have a little bit of makeup on right now. I just threw on some foundation and lipstick and um, penciled in my eyebrows a little bit. So before I put anything on, I always wash my face because my face is super dry, but it's oily as well. Um, and then I use the Pore Professional Pore Primer. It looks like this. Sorry for the band-aid, I know it's ugly. Um, and I got it from um, Ulta. This was $12. They have a medium size and a large size. So I just got this to try it out and I love it. It smells good. It looks really nice. Um, it's, it goes on really well. So it looks like tan whenever you put it on. But whenever you rub it in it goes to your skin color. It doesn't matter what it is. It just comes in that one color. So the next thing after my primer that I put on is my foundation. I just went to Ulta recently and let them know my skin type, let them know that I was looking for a um, like foundation and concealer that does full coverage because I do sometimes break out and my skin is dry and oily. So I got the Clinique Beyond Perfecting in the shade Breeze. It's really, really nice. Um, you don't have to put a bunch on. It has a cute little applicator that you can just make little dots all over your face and then use a damp beauty blender to blend everything in. So that's my favorite. So what I've been using is just this Walmart palette. It's uh, the LA Palette Nude 1 um, by L'Oreal. So this is what the packaging looks like. As you can see, it's been through a lot. And um, I still have the basic brush. I just use that uh, basic brush. And you can definitely see what colors I use the most of. I have blue eyes, so I try not to go for any like harsh tones. So then after I would do my eyes and everything like that and get that all blended, um, what I usually do is put on my fake eyelashes. And then once I do that, I would put on my eyeliner. I'm a liquid eyeliner person for the top of my eye. And then for the bottom of my eye, I usually use like a pencil or like the sticks. So whenever I use um, the pencils, sometimes I use the Wet n Wild Color Con. I use, I believe L'Oreal is what it's called, or the liquid eyeliner. So that's my go-to. Um, and like I said, I'll put that on after I put on my fake eyelashes. And then the next thing that I use, or that I do is my contour after that. And at this point, I have not put powder on. I've only put foundation, and then I do my eyes, so that way afterwards I can put on my powder to even everything out and make sure that I get all the fallout from my eyeshadow off my face. So I only use one bronzer for my contour. Um, sometimes in that cream palette, I'll use the dark color um, to do my jawline and like accentuate my face and cheekbones uh, but for the most part I use my favorite bronzer in the whole entire world um, my friend Tatiana actually showed me this 
It's called Bronze Booster by Physicians Formula. And it actually used to have a gold sun in the middle. And this is color light to medium. And it's called Glow, or it says on the back, Glow Boosting Baked Bronzer. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Nice shiny bronzer. Works really, really well. Now my favorite part of all time. Okay, so after I do my bronzer or my like dark contour, I'll use my Pro Highlight, um, which is by Pro Fusion. It's a 15 piece professional highlight kit. Comes with a fan brush, it comes with um, a smaller brush and then a wider brush for blending. Um, my favorite color is definitely the top color. It's called Glowing. I can. Oh, this light is so. I don't know. There we go. That's. You can kind of see it. it's goldish. You can kind of see the colors. I don't really use these, but these are alright. And then there's tons more on the back, and I keep them in their nice little package. Sorry that I keep leaning forward and like peeking around the corner. I'm using my iPad to record today, so that's why I can't really see. But yeah, I love this. But recently I have upgraded to Revolution, um, Makeup Revolution by London. And it, this is called Strobe Highlighter and I actually got the light lavender, like white lavender color. Um, it doesn't look purple. I actually have it on right now. I put it here on my nose and on my chin so it looks really really nice reflects really well it does good with lighting and um, it like I said it looks purple Let me see if I can. and I love it so much and I've only used a little bit of it as you can see it looks pretty new when I want a more like classic look I like to use this uh, Palladio or Palladio because it's a double L I don't know how you want to say that it's called Royal Rum, and it's the matte color. Um, it's not too dark, not too pink, and I love it. I wear it all the time. I'll like dab it on if I want a matte look, and then I'll just add a gloss on over it. It's like my go-to color all the time. So when I'm finishing up my look, I like to use um, loose powder, obviously, to set everything in. And I use Maybelline New York or Revlon, just depends on um, which one has my color. I like to use more of a translucent slash ivory powder, so that way when you put it on, it's not necessarily turning your skin that color or making your skin look really white. It's just kind of blending everything together, giving your face a crisp and finished look. Um, so I always use the light or 150 ivory. Uh, like I said, depending on the brand, but I, this is the Maybelline. This is the one that I've been using for um, a couple weeks now. At the very end, I close my look with not one, but two mascaras. These are my go-to mascaras. Every time I run out, I never try new ones. I always go to these. Yeah, it's Maybelline MD00, whatever that means. Can't tell you. Um, I know it's not falsies, because the other one's falsies. Uh, but I believe at this point, this one had cheetah print on it, but you can find it at Walmart. Um, I like the brush on it. It's really, really nice. Um, I have really, really long and thick eyelashes, so I use this brush to kind of separate everything and just give my lashes their first coat of um, mascara. And then after that, I swoop in with Maybelline New York's The Falsies Volume Express. It looks like this. Um, I think my favorite thing about this mascara is that it has a curved applique to it. So it really helps you get in the corners and make sure that you're getting to every eyelash and uh, coating everything. So that's about it guys thank you guys so much for watching this video um, to everybody that voted on Instagram I appreciate it you guys can follow me on Instagram at Emily Rose 0423 underscore and um, I'll be keeping you guys posted on upcoming videos and doing polls and stuff like that for future videos that you guys would prefer 
So this video won in the last voting poll. So the next video that we are going to be recording is going to be Would You Rather. So keep an eye out for that on my Instagram and also my Twitter because that's where I'm going to be getting all my Would You Rather questions from for my next video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe below and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I appreciate you all. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I will see you next time.